Welcome everyone back to Freelancer Discovery. Yes. You're You're absolutely correct. You see the see the correct game, this is no joke. I mean obviously those that have watched the previous um video with the Corsair vs Coalition event know already I'm back. Oh holy shit. Okay, I didn't think I would jump in like this. But yeah, so you guys saw me. So it's not like that I'm like actually like uh, active back. Oh no, you know what I realized? I have my shortcuts on the keyboard, which um, I'm actually moving around stuff in OBS with. This is not gonna go well. Well, I don't want to really fight anyway, so what I wanted to say, what, why I walked here is... Um, so yeah, I'm not actively back. Um, those that are in Discord already know. I only play on weekends, and so the time I got left... Uh, I will play Freelancer Discovery now and then, usually. And I think many of us are like that. Uh, we play like for for events or like uh, PvP, whatever is going on, uh, or like if there is a convoy, I would join maybe you know. But that's it. Like once a week maybe I'm I'm in Discovery. Uh, so those that are asking where is the uh, second aftermath video, I will still do that. Don't worry about that. I just didn't couldn't get around it and uh, as I said I was like too busy with my preparation for the university and um, so you know as of you know all videos you saw beforehand it, it was just a small like smash match or something so it's not a like, really uh, long videos that I do lately so see this as a more of an update on my discovery um you know i used to do like two or three videos i think i did like three videos about like an update and this this can be seen as another update on where i am uh mostly playing factions like what the fuck do you wa wait a second wait a second It's just stop. Hold on. This is this is weird. My controls just stop moving. What? Anyhow, anyhow. Okay, I'm getting way. We are already three minutes in. What the fuck? Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, um, yeah, uh, an update on the factions I lead and the faction I'm part of. So, what have I been playing lately? Well, the coalition, as always, as you guys know. Uh, but I'm not really that active anymore in the coalition, even as field marshal. Um, my boys, like our members, are definitely way more active than I am. Which, by the way, I have to say, holy shit, man! <laughs> Those guys are doing, delivering the shit, you know, delivering the message. So um, th that's one thing uh, about uh, that's this SCRA, the uh, coalition army. Okay, so <clears throat> about Volgograd Industrial, I haven't seen anyone else than those two or three guys doing shit, uh, nor me. Uh, we haven't been doing convoys, anything, because um, there has been this weird update lately with, um, you know, the uh, ore cell points have changed and yeah, the unlawful shouldn't make that money, you know, and uh, we had this cool uh, ore cell point in Kyoto, which was the uh, blood diamond, I think, or gold ore, I'm not sure, and uh, that shit got removed. So uh, we're kind of like trying to figure out where to distribute that, where, what can you do as a coalition, coalition trader, so to say, a civilian to earn money. So uh, nothing really helpful has come out of that. So we, uh, I haven't seen anything that does a lot of money 
because uh, obviously lawful trading makes much more money so you know you always give back to that point dude is it really worth trading as an unlawful because it was with vi having five cares he was uh earning money as an unlawful was actually interesting with vi but because we are five cares so it makes it a, a, a little bit special to other unlawfuls well i mean there is also the order and shit you know like there aren't many unlawfuls that are able to use five gears, so well uh, so i don't actually actually know what i should say to that you know add to that vi thing i'm still leading it but like you know i i know uh, i know many people I'm kind of a little shy to say things like that, but fuck that. Uh, I'm saying it. Obviously, I'm doing a bad job at leading the NBI. I mean, there is no denying. Because uh, right now, I'm only available on weekends. And there isn't, there isn't much I can do. And with this kind of ore nerf, I don't know how to... We have to do another spreadsheet that we used to do back in the day where it makes sense for like trade routes between our allies and shit and p uh, places we can dock but uh, uh other than that i don't think it makes much sense well unless of course you have factions that call for you they like you know come channels and ask for support supplies and shit sure you can do something like that and then <coughs> use <coughs> Uh, a, a gift of action a little bit of activity like that but i don't know i haven't seen anything worthwhile so uh, other than that uh, as you can see i'm flying my harvester drone the ai because i think nobody else is flying. <laughs> i think nobody else is flying ai i haven't seen anyone else uh yes i'm doing a terrible job at the harvesters too uh i had a couple dudes that joined and they were a little active joined sometimes but uh beyond that uh we couldn't really get any new, new members and uh what i really didn't like is mostly when people mostly join they're always like oh shit, we're getting fucked we're getting attacked from everywhere fuck we don't have enough people <clears throat> and they're like you know what maybe let's have some friends you know let's do some role play with others and then then people pop up uh that, that abuse that they're like oh shit okay we can now we can get ai technology and shit to our faction and i hate that i'm like people i i understand your frustration you're like well everyone is attacking me and i i just want to role play and stuff. but keep in mind back in the day kahara was also hostile with everyone and they were able to role play with whatever whoever you know and um I'm just saying it doesn't have to be always this neutral AI thing, you know, that people tr keep trying to push. Also, what the heck? Green? Junkers? Oh, okay. I, I forgot how to roleplay as a harvester, man. Just kidding. By the way, those brackets mean it's like a computer screen and you just see when you're like in role play so to say yeah i stopped with all the symbols by the way we changed that um because that was a little too much dude with what so yeah so um since i personally don't really you know i'm not for that as the as an ai faction so you might hate me for that okay fine but like i just think uh the harvesters i mean not harvesters the ais obviously uh nature should be hostile but like there can be exceptions fine but like it should be reasonable exceptions so i said like to try to explain a role play background like let's say but i said like people like junkers or like you know, mining corporations right um that look like they're like harvesting something quote unquote you could be like you could role play something like 
um, oh, they look like they're doing the same shit we're doing or something. Like, what about we learn some? Okay, fine, you can go that, do that. Uh, especially since you can't engage in systems of jump keys, right? <clears throat> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. I, I never said greetings. Did I ever say greetings? Oh, they have, they have artifacts. No, I couldn't scan their fucking ID. I was good to Omega 41. So what I wanted to say is, uh, yeah, so with that, you could actually, um, Roleplay with people without having to attack them. So it is possible. But I'm just saying uh, Don't like move away from the course or be like don't try to start alliances well, I ain't want no funny businesses oh, fuck. Uh, Hold on a second. Let me deal with that. I'll get back to you guys in a second. I don't know what the fuck I just said, but yeah, anyhow um so yeah, Harvesters still, I know I also got a lot of shit because I used to name Harvesters, but uh, I have to repeat myself here again. The, re the reason I went for Harvesters is because they started, the AI faction started with the Harvesters. And I, even though if they were a meme faction, whatever, uh, my personal opinion is that the AI, instead of AI, they should have gone for Harvester, like Harvester IFF or Harvester ID. Which would have given them a little bit more personality, like the nomads, etc. Right? It's not like it doesn't say fucking synthetic organic being or something for nomads, it's just says or nomads, right? So I would say going for harvesters on AI would have actually been cool. So that's why I'm saying we got, we have went full circle. I didn't change anything in the lore that co the collective provided, by the way. Um, uh, we just moved on from that. We didn't, we are not taking it and like, let's fucking change again for 50 millionth time, you know? That's what all AI factions have done so far. Always changing the AI lore. So I, did, I said, no, we're not changing the AI lore, but I just think but the next step, kind of like the next step of evolution, if you want to call it, of the AI would be the harvesters and, uh, then move on from there but obviously fucking ai has only two ships and not many like to be limited to, to that option i know some say yeah you can use civilian tech yeah i know but like it does it kind of ruins the immersion and as the uh, gamu artificial intelligence uh unless like i know you, you could just rp oh i'm taking over the ship but you know it's just weird man i know it's just weird using those civilian tech even though you're flagged as an alien life form unknown alien life form with its unknown origins etc but they said they are they they are gonna add the ai bomber soon i'm not sure when the uh, modeling is done the texturing is done so maybe once the ai bomber drops people might actually log and try this out who knows but uh yeah other than that um what else is there? The core order, yeah. Well, I'm really inactive there, but um, seeing how the uh, core has a new leadership, I kind of hope that shit might actually change. And there are plans. I'm not saying there are plans, but like, it's like I don't know, man. Lift, lift, look, dude. I have to fucking speak out, dude. You just, you just pushing those dudes too much to your fucking own uh, vision of the faction, man. I get it, but like, you have to let go, dude. At some point, I'm just saying. Like, uh, dude, I never remember me being like a first, like a leader somewhere, and as soon as I passed on, me still being there. And like fucking telling people, oh no, you know, the faction should be like this, you know, the, the fundamentals of the faction can't be destroyed, you know what I mean? Like, shut up, dude. <laughs> Still love you to death, Cliff, but you gotta fucking, dude, you gotta let people do what they wanna, what they, uh, you know, what they aim for. And now I'm saying this because the leadership has been sued. 
a leadership happened like really uh, i don't know like almost when, when was when was the leadership change i completely forgot but like it was it wasn't like two years ago or some shit so uh it's a difference when someone is leading a faction for two years and they're fucking up and you come there and say like dude you're doing you know what i mean uh, even then you should shut up though but I am guilty myself doing stuff like that, so I can't really say much. But like, uh, if you have a new leadership and they want to do stuff, like they're planning stuff, just let them do what they want, you know? Uh, the, the, the idea was, since I'm in high command too now in core, the idea was that we do something with PMCs again, right? That we dispatched PMCs on different part of series uh and uh kind of have this uh, uh how should i say a multi-role that in, in in omicrons you still we are not I, i'm against the whole imperium omicronis shit but you could still enforce rules as in like you have you are a corporation that ha is well known for its pmcs and its obviously in, in this case APM right uh, advanced products manufacturing so um, yeah you have I don't know high technology because you have a lot of nomad tech and shit I don't know you you're, you have advanced shit but uh, you could also run the PMCs you know and I also thought like when people join they could like make their if they put a valid and uh, reasonable RP behind, uh, they can make their own battle groups, um, PMCs, and just dis play inside the core their own battle groups, right? I did that with uh, the SCRA uh, when we merged with the Spire battle group. Uh, I I also said they're gonna be. We had like two, three wings, and I said they're gonna be wing commanders, and those commanders can. Uh, fucking organize shit with their own, you know, members, squadron members, uh, and if they do good and they do awesome role play and their name is being recognized, uh, we can mention that shit. Oh, Goldwing has been, you know, uh, awesome dudes. Uh, they are known in a known in the SCRA to be fearful or whatever, right? And I thought with the PMCs you could do something like that too, like the whole shit. Th this PMC group is known for fucking kicking everyone's ass right so like, i would hire those over that or whatever right and you if, if you're really that good right so um but there could be the contracts could be done you know it would be a little bit different it, it goes a little bit into the bounty hunting um section but it's not quite bounty hunting you know what i mean uh, what I proposed especially was, um, let's say, they're, they're, they can, the core can make contracts with people so that like they want a small battle group, a small squadron, whatever they want, like a squadron of bombers. Like let's say they, a faction, a corporation is like, dude, we need fucking assistance, right? And... Um, we're gonna need some PMC dudes, aka the core in here. Uh, uh, but we only need bombers. We can only afford bombers. So you know, uh, we're gonna pay you this amount. And if you can, like th th those bombers, if they could like show up for for two weeks or a whole month, right? You will be paid that much. And we're gonna need that for our regular raids on on lawfuls, whatever it is, right? and uh those that can afford more are like okay i want the core battle group somewhere right uh to to take care of i don't know faction b faction z whatever uh, it would have actually uh, be more interesting so we could like deploy shit, uh which i think the core should have been right uh, this whole big PMC Haven type of faction instead of this oh let's be Imperials you know also I mean nowadays there are so many fucking everyone is a fucking Imperium you know everyone is a fucking Empire so you're like well yeah it's getting a little you know 
and now now with the core also trying to be an empire it's a little bit too much in my eyes uh, but uh, yeah you get the point what I'm trying to do here so while mid bounty hunters can be higher right hey bounty like have I don't know person B Z whatever uh, core would have the like the yeah, higher uh, military um, group as in firepower and uh, if, if people want like to hire PMC's for a sector uh, they can hire core and we could like move to that sector of, of series just for the contract though not uh, regularly as, as a core just flying around serious killing people you know what I mean it has to be an actual contract you know and uh, yeah well what else hmm. order well I haven't played order in a while you know I, I had this ASF thing going and uh, by the way another thing that I got a lot of shit for ASF Alliance Starfleet um, after the core changed its thing ID to be limited to the Omicrons and Omegas it kind of didn't much mix it didn't, it didn't make sense for the ASF to stick around with core even though I, I kind of wanted it to be just an Omega faction you know fighting off a little bit of the coalition giving this uh, kind of historic battles quote-unquote right but um yeah it, it didn't really go well with that so i thought you know what what, what what faction is there that could represent that ideology right so i'm coming from different mods and the order has always been there like especially after nomad war they're like the front runners of humanity right they're like taking care of the nomads and shit and i was like well actually that makes more sense you know for me and uh, let's say if it's a if it's a um, what's that called um, a formation not a formation but like morphing into a new you know how let me give you an example of since so empire like you know how they were like first they were called the trade the, the tech were called the trade order right and then they changed into the trade emergency coalition right so I was like yeah maybe in Seoul there were the alliance but like in now in series they are they are the order also what the fuck is that a barge i thought it is a barge or it's a model of the barge the old barge model <laughs> wow they should bring barges in dude i would actually i would actually like to fly a barge <laughs> Forty thousand cargo <laughs> It could be 20,000 or 10,000, whatever. Anyhow, yeah, so... But the problem was once we went to order and, not, and the, the, the reason being, uh, of course, the humanities front runners, but also they have serious wide zone of influence, right? So they can do stuff with people outside of Omicron's Omega. And since we had this uh, political structure, structure of serious star federation, which was our like end goal, you know. Uh, we 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 did a lot of talks with the uh, house factions, right? So, oh shit, that's a corsair. Dude. Where the fuck is it? Well, anyhow. So, yeah, anyhow, uh, what that that was one thing, and then the other thing. Uh, the problem was the problem was once we started playing as ASF inside the order, we couldn't. But <laughs> bastard of what? We couldn't um, attack coalitions. You know, that was the thing. Like I, this is like probably one of the first time I'm admitting even though I like the older guys they're cool dudes and I'm not saying the alliance uh, back there was was a bad idea it's just in now the aftermath of this whole thing it was kind of needed the alliance was needed with the order and the coalition but 
And I also always thought, you know, since everyone is hostile with the coalition, the order makes like a good example of how you could still be friends with, you know, your old enemies, whatever, and uh, uh, work something out. But in, uh, in in the aftermath, I'm like, you know, it's a bit. The more you limit your enemies, sometimes it, it gets a little. Um, boring so to say because I thought now after I return I thought wouldn't it be a cool opportunity to have the order uh, hunt coalition as serious fight and the coalition would have this uh, whole orders coalition serious wide uh, battles right and like the order could play from being terrorist so to say they could play this hey we are with you guys, you know, we're gonna uh, fight against the old threat, whatever you want to call it. But of course, then you have the whole Bretonia situation with the, which the Order didn't really agree with. I'm fine, like the Order can be, if the or Order are like hostile with some houses, that's okay, but like maybe there are like one or two houses they could like uh, do deals with that are still feeling that the Orders, you know, are heroes, the Order, whatever, you know. And um, so I thought, you know, what if we could have had a branch uh, or like a split from the order? But then again, I know people will be like, oh, dude, there's always those splits. Yeah, I know. Uh, that could like fight the coalition. But it, it didn't work. We couldn't attack. So the whole idea kind of died. You know, the ASF now it's just dead because of that which is we couldn't do the main one of our main focus was to you know do something with the coalition like fight or i don't know do role plays have some interesting dynamic but you know since the order and coalition were allies you couldn't really do shit so that kind of died out so but yeah uh, then don't, don't get me wrong. It's I'm not saying it's it's bad. Like people are gonna be like, "Don't snake, what the fuck, man? Don't you like the alliance?" Ah, it's cool. All right, I get it. But it's it seems like it's a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Because the order has serious wide zone of influence. The coalition has zone zero serious wide zone. Of influence. As 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 soon as serious wide factions are getting together, that's when shit just becomes a little bit boring and. A bit that's just my thought it's a bit it's, it gets a little boring and uh, I just thought I thought I thought about that and maybe that wasn't a good idea you know what I mean uh, if it's regional factions that ally with serious white faction that's something else but if you have serious white faction that ally with serious white faction that's it's a little bit too much in my opinion so but the problem is we kind of you know uh, sacrifice the Karimov, which was an order cruiser for the coalition, so the whole thing would go. I don't know. But anyhow, there is a, an update on the Black Dragons, I think. Uh, it's the last fight. Uh, there, were, there were tension between GC and the Blood Dragons. I fucking hoped it would kind of escalate not in a bad way guys don't get me wrong it's was, it was like wh whenever we come in with these ideas you always get attacked as oh you just want us to uh, i don't know you just want them to go against us and shit no dude like you know i'm just saying it, the idea was nice because knf was about like K knf wasn't around so it got boring for the bd and gc in my opinion uh to work for their goals inside Kusari, right? And um, I just thought this whole clan war, clan turf war, would have been awesome, amazing, between GC and BD, but then the whole fucking drama happened with the outcasts coming in, oh, we're gonna kill Kyoto and shit. Like, they overdid it, you know? Instead of, it could have been a easy GC versus BD uh, events here and there. Uh, small fights when they uh, enter their each other's turfs it ended up with fucking people's you know taking sides and trying to end the other's reputation or whatever the fuck 
So I got boring really quick again, and I just fucking, you know, I just um, distanced myself. I was like, okay, dude, the, they are not, also the BD weren't going to do shit, and the GC weren't going to do shit. So I was like, okay. Yeah. There's also this thing that they, they forcefully added the uh, Coalition Battlecruiser Tumen into Kyushu without properly talking with any of the Coalition leaders. Just like two days before they implemented, they're like, we're going to add it. Bam. Are you okay with that? And we're like, dude, couldn't you just fucking, you know, couldn't you talk? And we're like, no, we're not going to focus on that shit. Fuck that. Because they did it without our consent. So, fuck it. But they still added it. And then it brought more drama, you know? It brought more drama. And we had to fucking clean that up, you know what I mean? It's just, that's the shit with disco, dude. Whenever drama drops down, you just don't want to play anymore. But uh, anyhow, it's not like I'm, you know. I'm more focused on the Aftermath, because you guys already know why. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the game until Aftermath drops, you know what I mean? And uh, that's something I'm trying to tell people. Like, yeah, okay, you can still enjoy a game until something releases, you know, and uh, that's my thing. So on the weekends when I can play, I will play, and if I can't play, I can't play. But uh, Disco for me isn't like, oh, dead, I'm never going to touch it anymore. It's just, you know, I'm really inactive right now, so, yeah. Other than that, fuck, <clears throat> you guys already, I mean, it has been... A while now, Durandal is gone, and there is like, dude, there are like different fucking news. There are so many shit that I, uh, not the Durandal one, but like after that, shit happened after that, that I'm like, I, I can't keep up anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have to be like 24/7 disco to fucking keep up with that. But uh, anyhow, Durandal left, and like uh, Wesker recently stopped leading RHA. Now he's just randomly playing. On different factions um, the developers especially the story developers or leftovers from Devtonia Bretonian people and I saw that I saw uh, names and I was like dude why are they still here you know what I mean Randall is gone why the fuck are those people still in charge and uh, now that Lanikov is gone, those they are just running the show and it's just fucking frustrating, you know. You get comments like Dark Royal is so good, it's so fucking badass, it's so huge, dude. its dick is so huge, man. Fuck, it could kill the coalition with BAM, you know what I mean? And I'm like, what? are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you know what I mean? And like they're they're now doing this shit with, oh we're gonna do an approach into Omega Fifty Two and shit, and I'm like, why the fuck did we do that event with the Bell uh, Group Sterling? You know what I mean? The the whole point of that event was that we pushed the Bretonian expansion back, and now we're fighting for Exeter, and now it's just everything is just got ignored, and they're like fucking yeah, let's put a jump gate in front of. I mean, of course, the jump gate was when the battleship Sterling battle was happening. But the jump gate neared Omega 52. Oh, we have the battleship Ark Royal, whatever. And, um, uh, they, t yeah, you, you, you guys are fucked. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, it's just these things, man. It's just so bad. Well, meanwhile, we got Planet Tangier, by the way, and that's thanks to the RHA. Uh, they gave it up. They were like, you know what? Well, let's, uh, you guys get that shit. So we have a second, third planet in lore, so to say, but like a second planet, dockable planet for the coalition, uh, which is good, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's what. That's always those things that I'm. I'm really, I'm really a skept, skeptic guy. Like, um, I'm like. Dude, they gave us Tangier, but like they're f forcing their way into Omega 52, and I'm like, do you see the connections? Like, can you connect the dots? What the fuck, right? They, they thought we we're gonna shut up because they gave us Tangier or some shit. I don't know, man. But uh, anyhow, yeah. 
Well, what else we have? Um, those the factions I mentioned, Order, Core, Coalition, AI, are the factions I go back and forth in. There's also the Corsairs that I lately play more like pirates. I'm just doing more pirating with the Corsairs. Uh, but when they also have raids, sure, I join when I have time, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I just like the Corsair ships. I don't know. Even though I think they're fucking broken as fuck, uh, it's just a vanilla thing, you know? Uh, okay. They're just my favorite vanilla um, ships, you know? The Titan. I always use to fly the Titan and the Eagle. But uh, yeah, so that, that's one thing. Uh, what, what else do we have? This whole Federalist, Rhineland Federalist thing. I don't know what the fuck happened there, How the, what the conclusion was. We used to play the Federalists, but I, I, I'm not seeing like a huge change here. Uh, or, or, or like this, <laughs> or the region lost a lot of interest. Meanwhile, like it was so hyped at the beginning, and now it's. Is this guy following me? And now it's like it served its purpose and it just stood there, now uncompleted. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to play, actually. You know, I've been. I. I we finally got the wild. Pawn idea, hey. You can fly as a wild now. Only with CT, uh, civilian tech, of course. <laughs> but it's something that we requested for a really long while, so I guess that's cool. Right? Right when I say wild, I get a fucking. I get fucking NPCs. This freelancer is following me. Uh, wait a second, wasn't there an AI fact, AI base in Omega 47? I thought there was, around here. Yeah, I'm gonna find that, you know what I'm gonna find. Okay, so anyhow. Um, yeah, that's one thing. Outside of that, I don't know if I'm actually playing any other factions right now. It's this, it's the reason I'm going back and forth as in I'm not wasting a lot of time on one faction is because I am not playing disco as I used to anymore. It's just, you know, yeah, let's have some fun. You know, I like Freelancer. Freelancer is my favorite uh, space game. And right now we only have disco with a lot of players. And that's the only reason I'm playing, you know. And so to find activities, I just cy cycle around my the, the four, four, five factions I'm in, and um, that's pretty much it. I... Well, I don't think there's actually m m much to say here. I, I, I will, I will try to do those event type of videos again. Uh, the thing is, just don't expect me to record and edited i'm sorry guys but i said i'm not gonna be active on well on youtube or well we only on weekends that's what i'm saying i'm like doing videos on weekends then i'm releasing it during the week but during the week i'm actually uh busy i'm doing my music shit music school stuff and uh, i'm only back on weekends so if you don't uh, reach me on Discord, that's maybe why, you know. So that's another thing. And yeah, the time I got, I, I would just record the events and put it up as a raw footage. That's it. No talking too. I won't. I don't. I won't talk. Uh, you know, like this video right now. I would just, uh, as you have probably seen, the last three or four videos had no microphone at all, just visual shit. And uh, that's probably how it's gonna be for a while, unless I uh, plan to change something or like do one video or whatever. I will also stream on weekends, but like maybe only once. 
so once a week a stream and a couple videos and fuck yeah that's that's all i can do right now you know but i'm sorry for those that are expecting more active videos but yeah we'll see maybe i will actually do some like we, we some people are waiting also for grip the, the tournament i'm doing the grip uh, single player campaign they want um, to see me to finish it and uh, maybe there i will have some commentary we'll see but uh yeah that's so much for that but uh guys thank you so much for watching and thank you all again for your support those people in discord i would say uh you guys are great and i've received huge support especially when i announced this uh that i'm gonna be busy and um yeah if you want to join the discord you can join the discord and uh put up some suggestions which games i should play i could like like uh, maybe once uh, when, when i get time on a weekend i'll be like playing one of your games on the stream we'll see how this will go but uh yeah guys thanks so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye